All right, I'm back here. We have all of our drip lines set up in our plant beds. We're ready to go. One of the other things that I've done is I've also come over and I have modified these into zones. So as we go here, I can kind of show you, we can start to define these zones, which is kind of a nice way to go. I'm gonna call this zone one based on our information that we have determined earlier and uh, we'll start to work from there. So let me turn these back on. Let's get some pipe running here and uh, let me move this out of the way. So like usual, we want to come across and let's go ahead, let's get our pipe going. We're going to start with our laterals and let's just start connecting some heads here. One of the things I do want on this is I'm going to show my nominal diameter and my flow. Let me, uh, let me erase that and we'll start back over here. Let's get this preset again. Let's go nominal. Let's show the flow. Let's show the direction on our pipes. Let's go ahead and get that taken care of and uh, let's go ahead let's just start connecting to all these different heads here should connect I'm not quite sure why that's not connecting to those they must not be right in the line there so let's uh, let's individually do that sometimes this happens when you don't lock right to one edge we don't go through so what we'll do is we'll just start back over here and let's just go to each individual head in this case. I'm going to tie this over right to the middle. Let's run right along this area here. Come down through. What I like about this is as we're going, we're adding how many gallons per minute we really need. Granted, we don't have a lot because of this issue, but then let's jump across this. Let's get our pipe over here. You can see we have a tree in the way, so that's kind of a key. We want to make sure we understand where our pipe is going in this design. And then let's, uh, let's run this right about down to here. Then let's go ahead and we're going to tie this zone. Let's go ahead and tie this pipe in also to this point. And we should be pretty good. That covers everything there. So at this point, we've, we're pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and let's... Uh, we're going to run a valve pack on this. Actually, let's go ahead and let's just place a, a valve right in this vicinity. So let's come over, we'll grab our valves. Let's make sure we are showing our input and our flow. And let's go ahead and select a valve here. We're gonna select a hunter valve. One inch PGV should do the trick. This is a residential piece. So then we're pretty good right now at this point. So you can see we're at 4.53 gallons per minute at 44, 28 PSI. We're doing great here. Um, one of the things graphically we can do is let's go ahead, let's adjust the font size. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's do active only. And let's select this. Let's come up to the font and let's do a different font. And let's go ahead and let's change that size from a 12. That's pretty big. Let's get down to an eight. I wanna show the data, but I don't need to clutter anything up. Maybe let's go ahead and let's change that even yet down to maybe a six. We're there. We can see where we're at. Um, we just want to kind of describe what we're doing there with our piping. So let's go back here. And uh, that's zone one. So we're pretty good. Now, one of the things I want to do here is now that you can see how we hook up, one of my little tricks that I like to do is I like to come over and I like to drop in my point of connection. In this case, 
I know that I have a pressure vacuum break or at least a point of connection over here. And we're going to put a, a uh, pressure valve there. We're going to go ahead and we're going to show pressure and show flow, which right now are nothing. Um, let's go ahead. Let's turn that off for now while we're working. We can show that later. And then uh, let's go through. Uh, let's do all of our laterals for all the other piping. And uh, we'll show you how that works. I'll come back in a second after I get that done. And uh, I'll be right back.